Hi everyone, I hope you are having good day today, and welcome back to Apple Bold YouTube channel. On this video, I will show you eSign new update version and how to install eSign on iPhone or iPad easily without computer. However, several eSign installation methods on several websites are still revoked because the certificate is inactive. So in this video, I will provide the latest design update with anti-revoke DNS certificate. First of all, open Safari browser. Then open NUT, GG website. Or you can check the link on description. Then click install now button. And click install DNS. After click Allow, go to Settings General. VPN and Device Management. Click DNS and Install. Input the passcode, then you have successfully installed DNS. After that, go back to the website. Please select the link. To install is sign. Please note that not all links work on your iPhone, so please try installing them one by one until this is sign is fully installed on your device. Here, I will try to install e sign on this certificate. Then click install. Go back to your home screen and wait install in process. If you see unable to install e sign notification it means the link can't install eSign. Please try another link to install eSign. Please delete the eSign that failed to install and try again to install eSign using another link. If the installation is successful, you will see the latest design icon like this. Click the eSign icon. If you see untrusted developer, please verify it. Go to Settings General, VPN and Device Management, then click Trust. And now, you can open eSign right now. But for now, you can't use eSign fully because you haven't imported the certificate into eSign. Open the website again, then click Download P12 button on bottom. Make sure you download the same P12 certificate as the certificate you verified in settings earlier. You can check it in VPN settings and device management. After that, Download the certificate, then open eSign, click Import, and select the certificate you downloaded earlier. Unzip the certificate. Open README file to see a password of certificate. Go back again, open the certificate P12, and click Import. Then input the password. And yeah, the certificate has been imported. Now you can use eSign like usual and free to install any IPA file with eSign without revoke anymore. Okay, thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe this channel for more update. Thank you.